Uh, when did you know who was going to win it? But you answered that already. Game five, game six, Atlanta. Game, says, game six. But I want you to watch a video, right? And you can tell me what you think. This is a live reaction because you never, you never, you don't have social media. Like you have social, but you don't, you're not on it, you're not on Twitter. I want you to watch a video people were talking about, like our run, somebody talking about our run. I see. I want you to watch it. Well, it does look very good. Tony, can we put that video up for you guys to see it? So, well, Stephen A., I'm worried about these des these destinations that you po you possibly have to go to for the NBA Finals. I mean, <laughs> you really want to be in Mil Milwaukee? You really want to be in Milwaukee? You know, you people are getting on my nerves. Is that where you want to be? Last Milwaukee? year it was Miami. Hell well, no. no. He's had Hell no. <laughs> there is breaking news here. I what? don't believe either of them are going to win their respective series. But I don't believe I've ever rooted for Atlanta, the Atlanta Hawks, and the Los Angeles Clippers more in my life. I don't believe Boom. I've done it. What do you think about that video? Uh, I couldn't hear exactly what he was saying, but he basically said that we, we couldn't win. Yeah, he was saying, like, you can't win. He's rooting for Atlanta. I mean, okay. Hold up, hold up. He's here? I know it. <laughs> That's the special guest you had? You know. <laughs> no! No! What's up, y'all? Bo! Bo! Cheers, 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 cheers. Hey, no, no, no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, you know I didn't tell him, right? You know I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him on purpose. I was like, wow. I want to see his honest reaction. And, and, <laughs> and I wanted to make it special for, for the people out there. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> thank you, thank you. First of all, hey, Giannis. Stephen A. Smith, thank you for coming in man, and my everything. Pleasure. I appreciate it's you, man. It's great to see thank everybody. You. How y'all doing? Showing love to, to, the, to the pod. So love to the pod after the show. First of all, why do you hate Milwaukee? You saw our weather. Our weather was great today. First of all, <laughs> this, is the thing that, this is the thing that kills me. I, I, I can't dime out my peoples, but it was, I had, I've been taking this for years. It was never me that said these things about Milwaukee. All I ever complained about was the weather. <laughs> I've always said, I've always said, great sports town, great fans, great team. My, I have, my family is from the West Indies. I had an island man, you know. And so because of that, I love warm weather. I don't like Chicago from October through April. I, I went to Iowa about two months ago to watch Caitlin do an event with Caitlin Clark. I'm never going back. All right, unless the weather's, I, I, I'm born and raised in New York. Yeah, but, and, and I don't exactly. want to be there no more. Ex oh. Because the weather, I can't, I'm just over the cold. But wait, but you don't never root no, or nobody against the Knicks. You always root for the Knicks. Well, I will never root against the Knicks, ever. <laughs> ever, 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 I will never root against first the Knicks. First of all, first of all, first take, first take, I told you this, I told you on, on the podcast as well. When you go show some love, my man, Bobby Porter, six man of the year, man. I just show some love, my man. My man, real shit. Go we'll talk. This is just some love to my man, Bobby Porter. Yes, sir. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Y'all got you, li listen. Bobby, Bobby know me well enough. I'm smoking to Bobby. I believe in Bobby. Bobby can ball. Yes, sir. Matter of fact. Yes, sir. I think he needs to shoot a little bit more. That's, and I've said, did okay. I not tell you that? Talk yes, the truth. Talk the. <laughs> so it's your game. Okay. So my thing now is that okay. First time you saw this guy, right? Yeah. Play. Did you ever think he was gonna be? Not in a million it? years. I didn't. I didn't believe he would be what he is. I knew that he had talent. He's got a nice size. Obviously, he can run the floor very well. Can finish at the basket, etc. But I didn't think that I would ever be sitting here looking at a guy that I believe to be one of the top three players on the planet Earth. That's what he is. And, and I, didn't, I didn't know enough about him to know what level of appreciation I feel all of us 
should have for him. I love his competitive fervor. I love the fact that he's not trying to befriend the opponent. I love the fact that he has the attitude that he has that I'm coming for everybody. You be ready because I'm going to be ready. And I think that when you have that kind of attitude, it's contagious with the rest of the team and it galvanizes a city because a city gets behind somebody like that. It's one thing to have talent. It's another thing to have a killer instinct to want to close you out. And yeah. I, I think when you won the championship, when you won the championship, he could have did his, ready, his regular thing. Let me get 36 points, 14 rebounds, something like that. No, <laughs> That's he had not regular thing. No, That's he had not regular. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's, it's like closing the deal. And I think that, you know, obviously he's a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer when his career is over. Um, he's probably, you know, you look at him and Kareem and Tujabar as the two greatest players in franchise history. Um, but as a person in the media, I can say to his face, I really, really appreciate what he brings to the world of sports because what he does is remind us that he cares even more than we do. And that's what you want from your superstar. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, you know, it's, it's so crazy when, uh, when, man, it was, it was so crazy when I started doing the podcast and stuff like that. I was like, you know what? I don't want to do hot takes. I, don't, I, want, I just wanted to, if it's gonna go viral, if people are gonna know about it, it's because I do special things. Right. Because I bring people together, and that's my job, and I've done it for my whole life. And I really wanted to bridge this gap because I feel like it's a lot of division nowadays. And now, not only sports, in the right. culture in general. And I, want, I, want, I think about all the time, like, is, do you have any like, players who ever approach you after, after a quote unquote hot take? Do you have any players? Oh, I've had play, I have players approach me all the time. Uh, but, they, they, but they got my number. I ain't changed my number in 20 years on purpose. I want to make sure they know I'm not hard to find. Mm, I mean good. what I say and I say what I mean. And I think that, you know, you've got a lot of guys. You know, I was in Minnesota a few weeks ago, and he was coming off the elevator when I was going in the elevator. And you were just coming out of the gym. And you was talking about, listen, LeBron, guys like that, they set the standard. I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to be doing this. And what a lot of players don't realize is that there were players who came before you, not, you may realize they set the standard. Yes. What you may not know is that those players talk to us and they implore us to hold the modern players to the standard they were held to. So a lot of times you'll see Hall of Famers, you'll see champions, and they'll pick up the phone and you'll never know. And they'll be like, don't let them off the hook. You held us to that standard. What you letting them off the hook for? And so when you run across a superstar like this man, you don't have to say that to him. He automatically says it to you, that he is aware of the standard and he's working diligently to live up to it. He's impossible to root against. You're looking for him and you're saying, yo, this is what it is. Uh, uh, this oh is my what the God. standard is and that's what it's all about. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I, gotta, I know you got you to you catch a private present, everything. I, first of all, I want to kudos because I brought him to Milwaukee. Even though he hates Milwaukee, I brought him in Milwaukee. Made him come here. Yes. Even though he hates Milwaukee. Um, I don't hate Milwaukee. <laughs> I just hate cold. When it's warm, I'm good with Milwaukee. It's not a problem. Don't, hey, don't even worry about it. We're going to see you in June. <laughs> yeah. We're going to see you in June. Don't even worry about that. We're right there with you. Uh, who, is there anybody you wanted to interview, but you haven't interviewed yet? Well, I'd love to interview Barack Obama. I'd love to interview... Um, I, 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 I've interviewed Michael Jordan before. I'd like to interview him again. I haven't interviewed LeBron James in a long time, but I can understand why he don't want to sit across from me. Um, I, 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 get, I get that part. Um, that definitely resonates with me, but not really anything. I've been blessed in my career. I've, I've, I've exceeded a lot of my expectations, to be quite honest with you. Mm -hmm. So I've accomplished everything that I've aimed to accomplish. Now I'm just setting new goals for myself to make sure I'm not stagnant, standing still. I can't call, I can't cover athletes and constantly command and demand that you try to exceed what you've already accomplished while I'm standing still. I can't do that, that's phony, that's hypocritical, and I'm not gonna be that kind of person. So I've always got new goals, new objectives that I'm aiming for, and I just do it that way. Uh, you, know, you know what, that's, uh, that's crazy that you said that, and I know we've left Giannis a little bit in the interview. Is there anything you want to ask him? Do you no, want to ask him something? I, I, I just want to say that I understand that you, you're a fan of the game. Yes. Right? And I, I can tell from the way you, you, you speak, the from the way you speak and the, from the way you carry yourself, 
you know, um, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I used to follow uh, your show a lot, but I, I, I felt like that was kind of holding me back. I, I wasn't able to, to do what I was, the goals, what I was, I set myself to do, right. you know? So I just want to say that, man, like, it's hard what you do. 100% because I know you're a fan of the game so like when you go and you have to speak the truth you have to speak what you feel mm -hmm. you know about players about coaches about organization about cities you know so so it's hard but you still do that mm -hmm. right and, and I think a lot of people um, might not like you right <laughs> you, 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 you know no, no, uh, no. <laughs> uh, but 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 at the end of the day to be right. in the top of your game, which I, I believe you are, because before I came to the NBA, I knew who you you were. Um, I, I, I gotta, I gotta, how you say? I gotta give you your flowers because it's hard to, you know, speak, you know, your, give your take about LeBron James, about um, me, about Jokic, about the team, and then still be able to walk out of the studio with your head, head high and don't really like give to sort of my language right. to shit. You, 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 you know, so, so, so I don't want you to think that uh, I don't understand it's hard. Um, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for, so much for doing this for Thanasis. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I... But, well, you know, I got something for I, you because I, you want to say something, so go. I, yeah. I, want, I want to say this because I think it's important that you hear this and that the audience hears this. It's like, <clears throat> yes, there's a lot of players who don't like me. Yes, it is absolutely true, I can give less than a damn. It is absolutely true. But there's a reason for that, and there's several reasons for that. Number one, for example, when you talk about you don't watch first take and stuff like that now, that's actually good. Yeah. And the reason why it's good is because you out there performing, you got priorities. Mm -hmm. And anything that's gonna distract you to compromise your greatness, you shouldn't allow getting in the way. Matter of fact, people like myself and others can learn from that. I show it's for the audience. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily for the players. So and, you're doing the right thing, right? That's, that's what I realized. Exactly. I, I realized 2000, 2019, right. when there was um, Ryan Hollis on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter what I did, right. was bad. <laughs> you, you, you know, so then I'm like, I just had, I just had 40 and we just won right. the game by 30 last night. Right. How, how, how do I, how do I? I can answer that. Because you're analyzing the greatness that you anticipate you will have to encounter in order to capture your ultimate goals. So Giannis is at a point where I have you as one of the top three players on the planet Earth. But if you're going, if you're going against Joel Embiid, it might require this. If you're going against LeBron, it might require that. If you're going against Jokic, it might require this. You happen to be going against DeAndre Ayton, you were going to be good. But the point that I'm trying to make. Don't do this man like that, man. But the point that I'm trying to make is that. No, don't do this man like that, that, man. Well, it's true. I'm just giving you facts. But the point that I'm trying to make is that a lot of times the athlete, and this is where I was getting to when I talk about giving less than a damn about somebody that doesn't like I care if you don't like me, if I'm unfair, if I'm inhumane, if I put your personal business in the street. These are things I would never, ever do. I don't play that game. Yeah. But me analyzing you as a basketball player compared to your contemporaries who you have to defeat in order for you to get to the promised land, there's an audience out there. These folks are gonna root for you. They're gonna wish nothing but the best for you. They're gonna rah, rah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm looking at it from an objective perspective and I'm saying, all right, in order for them to beat them, this is what's going to be required. So you might drop 45, but you dunking on everybody. You shoot 20 or 23 from the field and 18 of your shots were dunks. But if I'm watching Jokic and I'm watching, uh, you know, Gordon and I'm watching Porter and those boys for the reigning defending NBA champions, with their size, I'm like, well, he might not be able to do that. It might require him to hit a mid-range jump shot. It might require him to replicate what he did in game six of the finals when y'all won the championship and you hit 17 and 19 free throws. It might require that. So you're looking at it and you're analyzing it from that standpoint. 
if a player, a coach, an organization has a problem with you dissecting and analyzing stuff on that perspective, you're not talking about anybody's personal life, you're not attacking anybody personally, you ain't getting in nobody's business. You're strictly confining yourself to the game of basketball. My attitude is, what the hell is wrong with, 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 with folks complaining about that? You ain't playing in a garage. You playing in an arena, 19,000 people are packed, millions of people are watching on television. Everybody's watching you, and we're going to dissect it because that's what fans of the game do. Sure. And it's my job to bring that to them, I, I, and I'm gonna always do my job. I really, no, 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 it's, that's valid and accurate. Uh, I really, I don't believe there's anything wrong with that. What I figured out in 2019, 2020 is that, um, you guys and you guys, sorry, media yeah, analyzing uh, my game will not uh, help me make a jump shot. Right. Will not help me make a free throw or will not help me lead the team to the championship. So I right. said, inst instead of me wasting time of being mad, because I'm really putting everything for the game, I'm, I don't cheat the game. You don't. You know, I, I, I rather, you know, I rather go hard now and, and rest later. I used to say back then, like, I'll rest when I die, you know, right. so I, w I, want, I want to go now. Right. Uh, so instead of me using that time and being mad of, oh, he said that, okay, but he said that, and I'm talking with the all-time great, he's saying that, and I'm like, instead of doing all that, let me just focus on my craft and let me focus on things that I can control, mm -hmm. and, and I think from the moment that I've done that, I've my career has been like this, you know. Uh, uh, but but not 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 to. I I'm, I love the game of basketball, and I don't think you can be great if you don't respect and give the flowers to the all-time greats. Right. I feel like sometimes like people come in like the young players. Not the, I don't want to say like the young, like I'm an OG or like. <laughs> but they, they feel like the the only reason I'm here. It's because I, I call the all-time great. And I'm like, okay, what do I expect now? Mm -hmm. You know, he's not playing no more. What do, mm -hmm. what do I expect now? Mm -hmm. How are they going to guard me? How should I be in the free throw line? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, how should I approach my coach about this? Mm -hmm. um, my team is doing this. How do, how, how do, how do I talk to my big, big fella? Mm -hmm. You know, like, how do, how do I talk to the other leader on the team? Like, that... Allows, allows me to be successful. Mm -hmm. um, but believe it or not, shockingly, as shocking as it may be to you, we have a lot in common. In the media. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Before I you say you have a lot in common, by the way, don't try to hike out my podcast now. Do you own their own podcast? No, nah, hell no. Nah. You ain't going to do this now. Wait, wait, my wait, bad. wait. My bad. When you want, when you can't get him, on first take, you get him. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. Hey. Wait, but my thing is, I wanted to say, because you said- Does that come with a fee? Say again? Does that come with a fee? Do I get paid to be a first take? Yeah. That's oh, no, a no, good no. question for him. Yeah, wait, 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 but listen, yeah. listen, <laughs> what, I, what I want to say, because you, you said something about his free throws, right? 16, 17. And sometimes you'd be like, oh man, you gotta make his free throws and everything. Right. Tony, uh, can we use this basket? That's what it's there for. Yes, can we somebody move the table? Oh, Let's move the table damn. real quick. Let's move the table, hold I on. Do you guys like want to see it? No, no, yes or no? Yes. Oh, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, man. Hold on, I'll do this. Hold up. We'll do this bet. You make two out of two, you come to Greece, you don't even bring your wallet. You just showed up in Greece. You said <laughs> you, I don't bring my wallet. Nothing. That is not gonna happen. You <laughs> I'm listen, gonna bring my wallet. Listen. You miss free throw. I'm doing you on first take. Well, first of all, I don't not have do a, you. No, I'm, I'm I don't going to put you on first take. I don't have a problem with that. So set the basket out, Tony. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no problem with that. You gonna make you gonna make me do this, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Oh my lord. Oh, it's too far. It's too far. We gotta bring it closer. Yep, yep. Hold what, up, hold what, up. Uh, what kind of basketball is that? Let me see this. Wait, 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 where is that, man? Oh, no, no, no. Shoot this. oh damn. Hold on, before you shoot it. Noise meter, Tony, I don't Tony, even get a shot. Yeah, we're gonna need some noise from the crowd here. I don't even get a shot. Make some noise. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take your time. Take your time. First we we can be loud. We can be loud out there. I don't even get a practice shot. 
order. First one is move. Wait, shot. Wait, 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 I'll get wait, a practice wait, shot. Wait, wait, wait. No, did you another shot? You got two free throws. This ain't one. Free throws. Hey, hey. Free. So, so, can you hear me? Yeah. So, hey, what we go through, right? The free throw line, right? So, usually here in Milwaukee, when you miss two free throws in a row, everybody gets chicken wings. But okay, let, okay, I don't know if there's chicken wings here, so I don't want to put anybody in the spot. But let's go. Let's one one day out of my life, right? So what they had had to do with all playoff series? One, two, two three. He got, he got to get the ball first. Wait, wait, yeah, you get the ball. Get the ball first. Right Hold here. Hold on, yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's hey, what I'm talking hey, about. Hey. So, 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 that's why we won the championship because that actually helped me. <laughs> yes. yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Tony. What? Hey. <laughs> hey, Tony. Uh, first of all, I'm the first guy who ever had a podcast special. <laughs> Hey, Tony, tell me who ever, whoever uh, has ever made uh, Stephen A. Smith shoot free throws on his podcast, bro. Let I me believe know. this is the <laughs> first ever time Stephen A. Smith first. has shot yes. free throws on a podcast. Oh, my God. No practice shot or nothing. But, okay, now that we got the free throw out the way, what, like, what's next for you, man? I know you got the Stephen A. The podcast, your podcast as well. Well, you know, <clears throat> of course I'm still the, the, the host, the co-host, and the uh, executive producer of First Take. I think one of the things that people forget are oftentimes you see a lot of contributors on the show. I don't think they pay enough attention to who comes on the show, the athletes, because I want them to know you have that platform if you want it. If you got, you know, a lot of times you look at television, you got a 30 minute show, you got an hour show with commercials, it drops down, and if it's a half hour, it's only 21 minutes. If it's an hour, it's 38 minutes, you know, or actually 40 minutes. With, you know, with, with, with commercial, without commercials or what have you. But when you go on shows, you can sit down and talk with somebody for eight or 10 minutes, but you only see two minutes of it. That's not first take, it's live. Mm-hmm. So when you come on, you want 15 minutes, it's 15 minutes. Yep. That's number one, and so that platform is still gonna be available to me. I own my own podcast, The Stephen A. Smith Show. I own and operate it myself, it's separate and apart from ESPN because I'm building a production company. I want to create scripted and unscripted content. I want to do documentaries. I created a drama series uh, that's been picked up. I've got a docu-series coming out that's been picked up. And I plan on doing a lot of things in Hollywood in the years to come while still owning my own platform, still doing a lot of different things. And I'm going to go about the business of looking for talent, not just outside the world of sports, but inside the world of sports. You see a lot of former athletes uh, that want to get into podcasts, that want to get into television, wanting to do their own shows. Look. We take so much from the athlete. Y'all give us so much. Anybody, they they can talk all the smack they want. Ain't nobody that come to me and said, I need your help, and I said no. Nobody came to me and said, I need to talk to you, and I said no. Nobody can say stuff like that about me. And so I'm always about trying to give back to the best of my ability because I owe it to the game and I owe it to the athletes, people like himself. It's not about just his greatness, it's about his commitment to excellence. LeBron James, the same thing. Steph Curry, the same thing. And a host of other stars in this game. You see people going out on the court to play, the field to play in football and other places. The level of dedication that it requires to be great, y'all do it. And if you smart as a media member, you'll peel from that. I'm in the best shape I've been in in 30 years. And I, the professional athletes have got a lot to do with that because I was really unhealthy and I was really, really in bad shape a couple of years ago after I got COVID. And to cover these athletes, listen, sometimes talking to them, you know, you see Giannis in the gym, all right, what you doing? How often do you run? What do you eat? You know, I I remember one time I walked up to LeBron, damn it, what you eating? You know, I wanna know. (laughs) I was like, Steph, how the hell you We wanna know. How the hell you put me, that's true. I said, Steph, how the hell you put Matthew Delavadova in the hospital? You gotta chase you around all the time because you know you got so so much stamina how you do that to me 
You should want to do that. And you are right to be suspicious about every media member ain't fans of y'all. There's a whole bunch of cats that's jealous. There's a whole bunch of cats that, that you know, they don't root for y'all and appreciate y'all the way that they should. I just don't happen to be one of those people. I've never been that way. And by the way, I'm pretty damn successful. I don't have to be that way. So I'm yes, good. Sir. Man, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you first take June. You missed the first one, huh? Yeah. Listen, you welcome to come. You said June? I don't know. You pick a topic. No, it doesn't Whatever it topic doesn't matter. you want. You know? As long as it's not, it's not uh, something too crazy. I, it ain't going to be crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. Right. That my man Pat Bev right there. It's crazy <laughs> stuff. What up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir, yeah, sir, yeah, sir. No, 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 That's my guy. Say. That's my chay, guy. Chay. But uh, yeah. one thing I want to say, thank you so much. Yeah. It would be amazing to, first of all, do this with my brother, be a part of. Yeah. But we got another uh, podcast that me, only me and him have uh, coming down in a couple of weeks. You guys are going to enjoy that as well. That's right. <laughs> as well, it's going to be really I know funny. this much. I came to your studio. I'm jealous, man. This studio this is pretty fly. I went there today. I'm like, damn, I should have got this. I, I work hard. I work. Yeah, I got you. I work hard. Uh, I got you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for you. your time. And I know you got to catch it. Your, your jet's about to get up there. Like anyway, but I really do appreciate you. I appreciate yes. you for sitting with my brother. That's my yeah. big brother right there. I know Y'all you got deserve you. it, man. Y'all, Y'all deserve it. No doubt. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No doubt, man. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all take care, everybody. So, Give me a round of applause, go away, give me a round of applause, man. Thank you. Try to say it.